Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. Today, we're flying high over the San Francisco Water Department. That's right. This is a disclosed location. So we're taking off above the corporate yard and we're heading over to the new San Francisco water treatment plant. And you can see that the water treatment plant is full of cranes. I count at least four huge cranes on this job and a couple little ones. So what they are building here, it looks like five huge tanks that will treat San Francisco water sewage. So just think about how many people are in San Francisco and where does all their sewage go? Well, a small portion of the sewage goes right into the bay untreated from the homeless population. That's right, they just dump their sewage right down the storm drain and it ends up in that bay. But for the rest of us who are lucky enough to have a toilet and to properly dispose of our waste, well, this is where it's at. You can see those tanks in the background. Those are where all the sewage goes. And this is where the new sewage will go. So I'm not sure if they'll get rid of those old tanks in the back, but these are the new ones. And can you imagine some crane operator has to climb up that every morning and speaking of his sewage, I'm sure he has a bucket or something in the crane that he uses when he needs to go relieve himself. I would imagine. Or that would be a long walk up and down to use the restroom. But this is where our sewage will go. And this is where it will stay until it gets flushed out into the bay. It looks like they're also building another huge structure over there. So that could be where all the piping goes. And you can see that that crane is moving. Look at the shadow of that crane. But these are the things you notice after you get back down on the ground and see it on film. A lot of the stuff you don't see through the small screen. So there it is, the full complete acreage. And I'm telling you what, I can see construction almost on each part of the San Francisco water treatment plant. This project has been going on for years and it still looks like it has a lot of years left. When you treat sewage, there is so much piping that needs to be involved. So if you're a pipe fitter, you will have a job at a sewage plant. It is amazing how these cranes operate. There is where we're at. You can see the city of San Francisco in the background there and the 280 extension. So we're kinda over here by Hunter's Point. Kinda. Well look at all that conduit in the rebar there. You can see that those electricians on that building have a lot of conduit just buried in that concrete. 
Those electricians are pretty smart. Where does that all go? I don't know. Well, there's the old glory flying high. You can see it was a pretty windy day for me to be flying this drone. And there's that crane turning again. But when you're flying, like I said, you're concentrating on so many things you don't notice that the crane is moving. So you need to stay out of their way or you will lose a drone. But it looks like four of those tanks are partially built and one is still in its infancy. And it looks like they have a water truck that goes through there and sprays down the dust every now and again. So yeah, there you go, the big San Francisco water treatment plant. And boy, do those little workers look like ants down there, don't they? Yeah, there was a lot of moving of cranes and you can see that those cranes hold up a big, I want to say, it's like a mold. A mold for the concrete. I guess they call them footings, maybe? or I don't know. But I know that they, uh, Oh, forms, that's the word I'm looking for. Concrete forms. So they just, those big cranes hold up the forms. Looks like that big square pile is where a crane once was. So yeah, those cranes hold up the forms and then they pour the concrete. But before they do that, they need to tie all the rebar in there. You can see that San Francisco is pretty condensed with houses all over the place, but not this part of San Francisco. This is all industrial and homeless. So if you live around here, you will deal with the smell of sewage. No getting away from the sewage smell when you live right next to a water sewage plant. There's an old incinerator where they used to burn the trash, I do believe. Back in the day, we used to just burn stuff and let it go up into the sky, but we don't do that anymore. So this industrial... It's seen a lot of activity over the years. And you can see the San Francisco Water Department. Well, they have their lettering right on the roof there. So if you ever fly out of Oakland or San Francisco, you can see their building. San Francisco Water Department. How long have they been there? Well, I would say a long time. And the dirty little secret about San Francisco is all their water pipes are very, very old. So if, when the big one happens, well, I hope you have enough water to get you by for a little bit. Nothing's guaranteed. Well, I think that's probably enough out of me for this little small video of the San Francisco Water Department. You know, I always want to thank you again for coming along with me on these little adventures. Well, stay strong and healthy, and I'll see you when I see you. You know the drill. Peace love and all that hippie jazz bye bye everybody